Hi, it's Vivian J, and welcome back, Glitter Angels. Cause I, I, I'm in the stars tonight. So watch me bring the fire set the night light. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Hashtag Whoa Squad. So today I'm gonna be doing another mukbang because I haven't done one in so long. So for today's a mukbang. So today I have a bunch of sushi rolls in front of me. Most of the sushi rolls that, that I just got, they're from Woodman's. If you were to purchase sushi from them, they're they're super delicious and I highly recommend those to you. And of course, you cannot forget the soy sauce. <laughs> These sushi rolls are fantastic. They're the bomb. You should definitely get this. Without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so let's begin with the first bite. And it also has avocado in it too. If you're having sushi right now, go grab some. It's delicious. We can chat together. So another kind of roll I have is the green spicy dragon roll. So it has spicy tuna, avocado, like in the roll and on top, and spicy mayo. Ooh, don't these look yummy. <laughs> this is another one of my faves. What I love for sushi is spicy tuna, avocado, and also can't forget salmon too. Like seafood, they're the best. To start off this mukbang, why not answer a few questions that most of you have been asking me? Well, first off, I want to ask you, how are you guys? And a lot of you are asking me, well, how am I doing? Well, pretty good. Tired, but <laughs> hanging in there, honey. Actually, like, I also have a plate as well, so I'm going to put some rolls on my plate. So I don't know about y'all, but I am not a big fan of ginger. Unless if it's in soup or tea. And I also hate wasabi too. <laughs> With spicy mayo, don't mind it all. Also, here's my soy sauce ready. <laughs> if you were to ask me if I could eat one food for the rest of my life, what would it be? Honestly, it would be sushi. Like, sushi is bae. Like, when you go to a Japanese restaurant, especially when people get the right order, and that's all that matters. So another question I have in mind, pretty much relates to like high school stuff. Like any advice for kids who want to start their own YouTube channel? Well, I have done a video about that in the past. I mean like mainly for those that are interested in doing a YouTube channel. I would have to say like be yourself and like just focus on that and just try your best and put yourself out there. That's all that counts. Also, if you guys have not seen my mukbang on a Poke Bowl that I did in the past, that was probably about a year ago, I'm sure, I don't know. A lot of you have been asking, like, Poke Holly, or there's, a, there's another Poke place, but I'm not sure the name. So, Poke Holly, or that. I would say Poke Holly. Like, the Poke Bowls over there, super delicious. Highly recommend it. And also, a common question that I figured a lot of you have been asking me, have you planned on doing more performances since uh, they've probably been canceled or postponed another time this year? Actually, we have been able to perform. Well, virtually though, not in person. But I'm hoping to do more of those. I'll definitely do it. <laughs> okay, continuing on with this mukbang. The Woodman Sushi mukbang. <laughs> Also, most people have been asking me how I, how do I balance my time with maintaining grades and being a student in high school and being an influencer at the same time. Well, I would have to say between my friends and all the people I know at school with getting good grades and just focusing on my priorities and then focusing on my film, like filming ability, I would have to say priorities come first. Like, I just take care of like whatever's on my mind, like especially right now, like even though I'm filming right now, just because the weekend, it's one of my favorite things. Also what is on my mind is like, just like senior stuff. And by that, you, you guys already know what I mean. How else can I describe it? <laughs> also, you might be asking me, what is my favorite kind of sushi roll? Well, you guys already know, 
My favorite type is spicy tuna avocado and also salmon avocado with sp spicy mayo and also this uh, dragon roll, the spicy one with avocado and spicy tuna. They're my faves. The question I have for you guys is like, what do you do, what do you guys do after a long day of like hybrid learning or learning at home? And I know you guys have been asking me that too. What I like to do to unwind after a stressful day of online learning, it would have to be, I would have to say like singing or just binge watching my favorite vids or binge watching a Netflix show. <laughs> Connecting to that. A lot of you have been asking me what are some TV shows that I've been into recently. Well, I have been into A Minute to Win It, and I'm still, but I still haven't watched a lot of Great School lately, but I still love that show. Um, I also have been watching The House of Flowers. It's a Spanish show. Like, whenever I'm stressed, I would like to watch a Netflix series, like, any, any of my favorites in general, and just like any normal person. What I really like about The House of Flowers is that it's a Spanish show, and because I like to learn Spanish. Now for requests of video ideas. A lot of you are asking me if I could do another, like, day in the life of a high school student vlog again. I have to say it's kind of messy, because like, usually I don't like wake up like like really early, like usual. Like, I don't usually wake up at like 6.15. I wake up at around like 6.45 or 6.30. It really depends. And also like, sometimes like, it can be a little embarrassing just like vlogging yourself and just like suffering with all the like work that needs to be taken care of and I always feel bad doing that. Usually I really am a happy person on camera and you, can, you guys can definitely tell. Like, there I am, just like, feeling, like, happy as a, I don't know, like a little, like a little chihuahua. <laughs> also, if you guys uh, can't already tell, like, I'm currently watching a favorite movie of mine from Netflix. <laughs> so, I want to ask y'all, what is your favorite, like, fall-themed movie? Honestly, one of my personal favorites? It's fantastic, Mr. Fox. And also, since, I mean, like, the holidays are not here yet, but I'm way too excited for it, honey sugar. <laughs> so what are your guys' favorite ho holiday-themed movies? Like, personally, I do love Elf. I do love, um, what else do I love? Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, <laughs> even though it's like a Halloween and Christmas combination. Well, I also happen to like uh, Trolls Holiday. It's a short movie. I don't know why I like that, but I just do. <laughs> and another holiday movie that I like is, um, well, other than Elf, I also do like, I mean, Home Alone was, was, it was pretty good. And I also love, like, my all-time favorite is The Grinch Who's That Stole Christmas. <laughs> like, all, a lot of the Christmas movies are awesome. <laughs> also, a lot of you might be asking like any interesting dance choreo or anything. I haven't created a lot of choreo lately but I've learned like at least a few dances so that counts. My definite favor would be um, the time that I was learning to, to a dance to Demi Lovato and Jax Jones instruction provided by my favorite person in the whole wide world, my dance one teacher. She's the best. And that's gotta be one of my like all-time favorite routines that I've ever done in my whole entire life. Dance one in general is just an awesome thing to do. And tying to that, you're you're also asking me like, how, d how does it feel to be in dance one for the second time? I mean, it feels fantastic. Like, based on what I've learned f during my first year, like, I applied it to this year, and just usual, just having the time of my life and just being happy. Like, really, like, my dance one teacher, she is awesome! She's like a superstar trainer. I consider her as Angelina Jolie. <laughs> she does, kinda. <laughs> a lot of you are also asking, like, any classes that are my least favorite? Well, definitely pre-cal. It's just really hard. 
I'm not the math girl that I used to be. Sometimes during high school, things can change and some things can stay the same. What are like my go-to things uh, before online learning? Well, I always like to make sure that I have my water bottle and also my computer and just anything that I could possibly need for any e-learning class. All right, here we are back again. And I know that, I know I got some extra rolls, but that is totally fine. Like, I, like whatever I don't finish, like I just share it. So anyway, continuing on, I'm also gonna be having Lindy's homemade, um, <laughs> um, they kind of look like icy drinks, like the ones you get at the movie theater. It's like some kind of Italian ice, but it's like a slushy and it's really good. <laughs> I like it. I've tried this before, it's so good. This is root beer flavored. Mmm, <laughs> doesn't that look good? <laughs> Satisfying on camera. ASMR time. This counts as my dessert of the day, so. <laughs> okay, <laughs> a lot of you are thinking this is an ASMR already, but it's not. It's still a mukbang, y'all. <laughs> like, the rupier is one of my favorite flavors. Now let me ask y'all, what are you guys looking forward to this upcoming holiday season? Well, despite the fact that there are some, like, changes to this year because of not being able to have get-togethers and whatnot. Other than that, like, what are you guys looking forward to? Honestly, like, personally, I'm looking forward to just having wonderful food and also just finding alternative ways to celebrate Christmas and also mi cumpleaños. And what is my favorite part of the holiday season? Obviously, my birthday, two days before Christmas, y'all know about that. I also am looking forward to watching the Christmas movies as well. So, last and final question. Would you, what advice would I give to any fans that would like to virtually meet me? Like, any do's and don'ts? Well, if you want to say hello to me virtually, that is totally fine. It's no problem at all. But... For a don't, I would say, like, don't just randomly, like, put me through, a, like, a video chat when I'm in the middle of something. Like, if I can't talk, if I can't talk to anyone, then I'm really sorry, but I wouldn't mind virtually meeting at all. Because, <laughs> like, based on my channel, I've, I'm pretty sure I've done some, like, virtual stuff. If you guys have not seen that before, you should definitely go check it out. It's still available on YouTube. So that was it for the video, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because I make weekly videos. Well, in this case, every weekend. Subscribe down below as well to be part of the Woe Squad. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications for more awesome videos. And share this video with your friends. I also hope you are all staying safe and healthy and very happy as well. I love you guys all to the moon and back, and I'll see you guys later. Toodles.